Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to understand the use of push button and control LED using it. So let's begin. Let us start by creating a new circuit on Tinkercad. For this project, we will require the following components, Arduino microcontroller, push button switch, two resistors of values 220 ohms and 10 kilo ohms, and a LED. Before we jump into the coding let us first understand the working of a push button. A push button switch, in general, has four terminals, terminal 1A, 1B, 2A, and 2B is shown here. Out of these four terminals, terminal 1A is connected to 1B and terminal 2A is connected to 2B internally. They can be represented as a normally closed switch. What it means is, whatever voltage potential is available on terminal 1A and 2A will be available on terminal 1B and 2B respectively. However, the terminals 1A and 2A are completely isolated from each other and are normally open as shown here. When the switch is on or closed, the voltage potential available at 1A will be available at 2B and vice versa. Well, that's all about the working of the push button switch. Let's get back to our main objective. In this video, we will develop a circuit and code to turn on a LED when the push button is on or closed. To do so, we will use the following circuit which consists of a push button whose terminal 2A is connected to 5 volts supply, and terminal 1A is connected to the ground terminal via a 10 kilo ohm resistor. Terminal 1B is connected to the digital input pin 02. The equivalent circuit is as shown below. How does this circuit work? Well, that's pretty much simple. As said earlier, when the switch is off or open, voltage potential available at terminal 1A and 2A will be available at terminals 1B and 2B respectively. Following this, when the switch is off or open, the voltage potential available at terminals 1B and 2B will be 0 volts and 5 volts respectively. When the switch is on or closed, the 5 volts potential will be available at terminal 1B. The much obvious question at this point will be, why does the current flow towards terminal 1B and not towards the terminal 1A? The answer to this question is simple. We all know that current flows through a path that offers a minimum resistance. The 10 kilo ohm resistance placed at terminal 1A will oppose the flow of current hence, the current will flow towards the terminal 1B. Following the above two states, we can either have 0 volts or 5 volts voltage at terminal 1B. This voltage potential will be sensed on digital input port 2. Let us complete the wiring diagram for the above logic and jump into coding. The logic operation of the above circuit is as follows. If a high state or 5 volts signal is available at digital input pin no 02 then the LED on digital output port 12 will be glow else LED will not glow. The above statements can be represented as a flowchart for coding as shown here. Let's begin the coding. We will first create a variable called button state to read the status of the push button on digital input pin 2. We will now use an if-else control block from the control category.
The LED on digital output pin 12 must be turned on if the button state is high, else the LED must be kept off. The coding of the above statements is as follows. That's it. Let us simulate the above code and try and check the output. The LED turns on when the switch is closed and turns off when the switch is opened. Hope you like this video. Kindly subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive the latest updates if not already subscribe. Thank you. See you soon.